very good. Actually, uh, some of the points and some of the discussions were quite pertinent and they were not like very broad based in the sense where you can have like a, uh, a discussion which is very vague. I think they were pointed discussions and I think those are the best kind of discussions because then you kind of learn from each other and you uh, also maybe I'm like going to have an insight that everybody else can use. Uh, so I think the questions made the discussion very, very relevant. So I had a great time. I think great panelists and like, you know, uh, Ankur kept us on the straight and narrow. So yeah, all very good. I think the first thing is you have to understand that like, you know, all of us are trying to be the CEO, CFO, the board. Everybody wants like say commercial success at the end of the day. And that's maybe the language that we need to speak whenever we talk about investments. Uh, a lot of times I've seen these discussions go wrong because we only talk about the input and not necessarily about the output and the projections. Uh, a lot of these investments in MarkTech don't give you results from day zero or day 30 or day 60 also. They take a little bit of time to prosper and then start giving you the results. So as a marketer or as a growth professional, uh, it's maybe our responsibility to actually forecast the impact uh, in the terms that everybody understands, which means either user traction or the commercial success because of that. Um, if you can like distill the impact of your MarTech investments or the strategy that you want to implement in these terms with guardrails and with timelines, then there's no CEO or board who would, not, would say no to your, your proposals. I think a lot of times a lot of these discussions become very marketing centric or very input centric, which is where people don't understand what you're trying to do. Um, I think that's, that's the single biggest thing that I can share.